Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Special edition of Motor Cars is we'll have a Car Stories edition, which you haven't done in a long, long time. And it's all going to be concerning the Barrett-Jackson auction. It's kind of a rite of passage. In fact, they used to have a Barrett-Jackson party every year until motor cars kicked off. And then I kind of didn't have as much time as I used to, especially when this comes out around the time of the Detroit Motor Show. So it's very, very busy in the motor cars enthusiast headquarters. But the Barrett-Jackson auction, in fact, late last year, was announced that it was going to be leaving the TV partnership that it had for several years. And was going to a couple of channels, one of them that my brother and I had, and the other one we did not, which meaning that we couldn't see a good portion of the auction. Now, my father, on the other hand, and my stepmother were heading to Scottsdale to visit some friends and also to check out the Barrett-Jackson auction for the first time. So my brother and I hatched a little plan over Christmas and decided, you know what, we've never had a party in our parents' house all these years as far as when they took off. So we hatched a little plan with my father and stepmother's permission to actually get into their home because they did have the channel that us two were lacking. So for the first time had a party when our parents were out of town it was pretty doggone hilarious even though... It was just my brother and I, and we just had pizza, so it wasn't a huge big deal. But it was pretty good fun, pretty interesting to watch that particular auction. And it was just kind of a hilarious little anecdote as far as what actually took place. Driving an hour, breaking into Dad's house. We actually used his garage to do a little break work to my car and stuff, so pretty doggone entertaining. It was a pretty fun little day. And as far as the auction was is concerned at all, we teased long, long ago that Ron Pratt was going to be selling a good portion of his collection, and the star of that collection was mainly going to be this particular machine. This was the Cobra Super Snake, the original Super Snake. And in fact, you don't know too much about this particular machine. This was a special vehicle that Carroll Shelby had built for himself. And there was only two of these on the planet. In fact, if you've ever heard of the comedian Bill Cosby, he was the other fellow that actually had one of these particular machines. In fact, he had a fantastic comedy routine called 200 Miles an Hour. You can look it up on the old YouTubes and you can check it out. It's very hilarious. In fact, the two cars were built massively high horsepower twin carburetors twin superchargers on this thing this thing made a lot of smoke especially for a car that didn't weigh a whole lot in fact it made so much power that mr cosby well it scared the heck out of him and after two weeks he sold it back to carol shelby shelby actually sold it to a fella over in the united kingdom which sadly wrote that guy's obituary in that very car which meant there's only one left in the world this vehicle sold at barrett jackson for five million dollars a handful of years ago to mr ron pratt mr pratt actually sold it over the weekend again it didn't sell at auction but after the auction they did work out another deal to sell the automobile again for five million u.s dollars i love this particular machine great backstory very entertaining machine and a one of one officially basically one of two built but only one of one it still exists as of today and that's all there was that i thought was worth talking about for this edition of motor cars enthusiasts if you want to jump on over to the facebook page the links down in the show notes also if you'd like to subscribe to the channel you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out thanks for watching We'll see you again real soon.